In this video, I'm going to share five pieces of advice that I wish I had received 10 years ago from a mentor or a more senior friend. Watch till the end and learn what they have to do with hammers. I won't bother to talk about taking lecture notes, preparing for exams, choosing a roommate and all that college stuff, alright? You'll figure it out on your own. My ideas will be more useful to college seniors and young professionals continuing their studies rather than freshmen. Have you heard of that 20-year-old whiz kid who started a billion-dollar startup? Or of the 25-year-old CEO of a leading New York hedge fund? Or of the 24-year-old McKinsey partner? To make things worse, all your college friends are now earning huge salaries and going on vacations four times a year. Your Facebook feed is full of their happy pictures, right? Oh my god, it is so overwhelming. Everyone's making things happen and I'm just sitting here useless and miserable. I must become successful quickly. Look, this is complete bullshit. Of course, life as seen through social media is glamorous, but what is lurking behind those gorgeous photos? Lack of self-fulfillment, insecurity or even chronic depression, health or family problems. And why would you give a damn what is lurking behind social media after all? While you are being jealous, you are wasting your precious and limited time and energy which you could spend on yourself. Look, success is not about making money or social status. It is when you wake up in the morning in a good mood. If you learn to do it, you'll be more successful than the startupper, the hedge fund CEO and the McKinsey partner combined. If you are crazy about results, but do not enjoy the process of achieving them, you'll get nowhere. You just won't hold up. For example, to get into Data Science Master's program, I had to invest 400 hours into preparation, and I enjoyed every one of them. If I did not value the prep per se, I would not have survived even half that time. Same thing about management consulting courses at FLES. Our most successful students, well, mostly not college students, uh, but working professionals, spend one and a half to two years on preparation. They work as hell and they adore the process. Those who hate it quit quickly and never achieve the desired offers. Outstanding results do not come fast. They take time. Be patient and work like crazy for many years. Then the probability of success is high. And even if you fail, the invested time will not be in vain. While you are still at college, you might want to rush to get a job and gain experience. However, work won't escape from you anyways, and you won't escape from work either, while getting back to studies later on will be a challenge close to impossible. For example, while doing my master's, I dedicated all of my time to higher math like linear algebra, real analysis and stats. I did not work at all. The knowledge I acquired as a result helped me get into consulting data science and work on my own business. Putting work on hold now to learn higher math would be prohibitively expensive to me. And I see a similar situation in our consulting math course at FLES. Working people with families find it difficult to devote time to studies despite all our efforts to ease the burden. Therefore, my next piece of advice to you, study while you still can. This opportunity will fade away quickly. Thanks in large part to the startup culture, we know that mistakes are nothing more than outcomes of hypothesis testing and you cannot learn without them. Mistakes are for winners. There's one caveat though. Mistakes are a sign of failure and contradict the get successful fast mantra. So screw the mantra. Better to be a loser in other people's view than to stop learning due to fear of making mistakes. I, for one, said goodbye to a promising management consulting career to become an instructor. Am I missing out on superficial success features? Well, possibly. Am I getting amazing opportunities to learn things that matter to me? Absolutely yes. So my advice to you, make mistakes. Mistakes are awesome. However, do not make mistakes by messing up with your good name and your integrity. Do not be mean, do not lie, do not be an asshole. The world is a small place and you don't want to have the stigma through the rest of your life. 
Be on good terms with people. If there was one thing I would like to change about my college and McKinsey years, this thing would be my engagement with others. I devoted too much time to studies and work trying to be better than everyone else. Well, instead, I should have cooperated rather than competed. This way, my life would have been much more fun. And moreover, the connections thus developed help in life and in business. Therefore, my fifth and final piece of advice to you. Be friends with people and keep your integrity. <laughs> All right, what about the hammers? Well, it's simple. To a man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Take my advice with a grain of salt and apply it to your own situation. And by the way, why don't you share your own advice for your younger self? What pieces of advice would you like to have heard 5 or 10 years ago? Post them in the comments and let's have a discussion. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right into the comments. Cheers, guys!